Well, Graham, I should get going because I have to, you oh, know. Oh, I... no, dear. Just stay a little while longer. I'm having such a lovely visit. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, you want me to turn the television on? We can watch some TV. No, I can't see it. It's all just a bunch of blurs. <laughs> I thought you had that operation to help your eyesight. Well, I couldn't afford the operation that would let me see clearly, so I went in for the one that would make me see blurs. <laughs> What's the point of an operation that makes you see blurs? Well, it was something to do. Well, I could take you out sometime, maybe go to the park or something. No, dear, this is what I like, just visiting with my grandson. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> Would you mind sitting just a bit closer? The blurs, you know. <laughs> just a wee bit closer. I want to be able to see your sweet face. Closer. I could turn the radio on. This way we can listen to some music, huh? No, that's a lovely idea, but it all just sounds like mosquitoes. <laughs> mosquitoes, huh? Would you mind just sitting a bit closer? You're starting to sound like a mosquito. I'll just talk louder. <laughs> Dear, you're not thinking about killing me and burying me in the basement, are you? What? You're not thinking about taking a brick and smashing in the back of my skull and dragging me by my ankles, my head thumping against every step, and then burying me in the basement, are you? Of course not, Grandma. What makes you say a thing like that? Well, it's what I was thinking. You were thinking about me killing you? Oh, no, dear. I was thinking about me killing you and then burying you in the basement. Of course, I don't think I could drag you by your heels. I'd have to hire someone, some ne'er-do-well, to drag you down and bury you in the basement. Of course, then I'd kill him, too, and bury you both in the same hole. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? This is insane. You want to kill me? Oh, no, dear me, no. It's just that when you get old, you start to think about death. Grandma, you're not thinking about death. You're thinking about murder. Oh, I know, dear. Just now I was thinking about taking a big knife, maybe the one we used to carve the turkey with, and stabbing you in the neck, in one side and out the other. Oh, uh, look, you're freaking me out here, Grandma. I think you need some help. Well, I already said I'd need help to drag you into the basement. No, I mean a psychiatrist. You're talking sick stuff here. Oh, no, it's all just talk. I don't have the strength for anything anymore. Yeah, well, I, I gotta go. What, no kiss goodbye? <laughs> Let me see your hands. Yeah, I'll see you at your funeral, you stupid little... Oh, this one's gonna be tough. He's much smarter than his father. <laughs>